Hello there, welcome back to the new video. Today we'll be looking at the concept of byte pair encoding, a subword tokenization method that is often used in many of the transformers model. So tokenization is a method of breaking down a given piece of text into smaller yet meaningful lexical units. And there are three popular ways of doing the same, which are word level, character level, and subword level. So let's talk about word level first. So these are typical space separated or some heuristic separated sentences broken down at word level being unigram, bigram or phrasal. And this was often really popular in 2017, 2016 in the time of word to vec But these often suffer from the disadvantage of blowing up the entire vocabulary and also not really a good way of dealing with unknown words. So the second popular way is character level where you represent a lexical unit being every character in that language as a part of your vocabulary. So with this you solve the problem of dealing with unknown words because now every word can be broken down at character level and mix and match to be forming a new version of it. But the little disadvantage that this method brings in is that the single lexical unit which is a character itself might not be really meaningful at the first place. Finally we discuss subword level tokens which are really popular with transformers model. So the idea is to tokenize a word into two or more units. That might be comprising of something that's really common across the data set and the remainings of it. So this method kind of brings best of both the worlds of word level and character level by introducing the entire word as well as also dealing with unknown tokens. So for example, such as tokenization, tokenizers, and the word tokenize can be one of the primary token with other stuff being the remainings. So byte pair encoding is one such method that is used in GPT, Roberta and BART kind of models. So let's take an example. You start with the text piece, you get all the unique words that comprise it, get the count of each of them and tokenize them at character level, making them the vocabulary. Then you pick the consecutive pair of characters that have the highest co-occurring count in the words that are there in the text piece and add their corresponding counts that occur in hug for 10 times, bug for 5 times and then hugs for 3 times. So this highly co-occurring pair is then added to the vocabulary set keeping note of the merging process. Again from the updated vocabulary set we select two consecutive pairs that have the highest count. In this case it's U and N. We again merge them, add it to the vocabulary and so on and so forth till we have reached the predefined vocabulary limit. So with this we create our training set which we call as creation vocabulary set and now for any new word that comes in we again follow the same rules in the order that we have followed while generating our training data and apply those transformations. So yeah this is byte pair encoding. So if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll meet you in the next one. Bye bye and take care.